April 21st. Another beautiful day. Up here, Flat Rock. Getting ready to. This should be my last day up here. Getting these fields finished working up. And old Reese Daddy right behind me. Gonna finish planting up here. Then we Indiana bound. Come on. There's Eli way out there. Don't know if you can see. He's working ground for Dad. He's gonna be here to plant it. I got done in Illinois and also over the 3,000 acre mark for corn. Dad's over the 2,000 acre mark for beans, so we are moving, moving on and I am heading to Indiana. I blew a hydraulic hose, but I'm going to be driving right by there and I had to start for some uh, brush parts the brushes that uh, go on my seed tubes to deliver the seed directly to the ground. So I'm just gonna stop and have them change it. I had a little oil blowing out as I finished and as I folded up, but I made it. I got my stops in and hopefully this works out. Well, this trip has been an adventure. As you see, I'm leaving John Deere. I am thankful for good dealers and good mechanics because on the way here, my hydraulic accumulator, which is a thing about this big, around, about this long, fell off. It fell off on the way here. The um, bracket that's mounted to busted. It fell off, but I, if it was going to happen, it was as fortunate as you could be because. There was a guy that came up behind me. He's like, hey, something fell off and you're puking oil. Then I went to get it and there was a guy who works for FS was there. And I'm in, you know, I'm not in the middle of town. I'm out in the country. He was just like, hey, I got a plug that'll probably fit that. So he quit leaking oil. So then I was able to drive a half hour of the John Deere. Got my hose fixed. They welded it up. Welded it up the uh, bracket to get the accumulator back on. Got the figs on that fixed. I'm back going, heading to Indiana. Thanks Ian, Jeremy, Roger, those two guys that don't know what your names are, all really appreciate it because back up and going, chance of rain tomorrow night, maybe Thursday, so shout out to you guys for all the help. Finally made it to Indiana. There's David, that thing's huge. We got a 55 foot field cultivator here. On my screen, you probably can't see it. Dust me out. Yeah, there he is. We made it. We made it. It's been an adventure, but we made it. Got a few parts put on, a bunch of brushes. Believe it or not, after 22,000 acres, the planter starts to wear out a little bit. I got all the brushes that John Deere had. They're supposed to get me the rest for the planter. They'll be in tomorrow, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna get out, put these on, get cleaned out, yellow corn out of the planter, so I can plant some white corn. What are you doing? I'm cleaning the planter out. We got yellow corn in it, and we're gonna plant white corn. We don't want to mix any yellow corn together with our white corn because we get a premium for our white corn. So now all of this corn, this planter should fit in this bag. If it doesn't, that means it did a bad job. So we'll see how much is in there. Not much. I'll we'll clean out these bulk bins and I'll clean out each unit. That is what fell off going down the row. Road. We emptied the bulk bins. Now we got to empty each individual row so there's no corn left in. Just pop this open. This is our little catcher because this stuff's expensive. We don't want to waste it. After we get this bag, we'll plant it later. What are you doing now? I am 
changing these brushes. I had a little breakdown. It wasn't plant right. Singulation couldn't get over 90%. And the problem was, see this brush right here? Can you come in and see this? See how that thing's wore out? It's not even, it's not fat enough. We're gonna change those. I'll get this out of here. WHR over there. Purple seed is refuge. Red is BT. Since the accumulator fell off and I had my hose bust, believe it or not, I got a little bit of uh, air in the hydraulic lines. So now my down pressure can't keep up. It's not getting, my margin isn't getting as high as I got it set to. I'm trying to plant some white corn. You see that? That keeps happening. So I'm trying to purge the air from the lines. Hopefully this fixes it. Hopefully. It says it's a kidney loop. I'm going to try this one more time. One more time. Well, the side it can't be the air in the lines. I'm going to go try and get a downforce pressure uh, sensor what John Deere thinks it might be. Put that on. See that fixes it. Hopefully it does. Made it back. I had to take David's truck. Mine's got a trailer on it. I might have been speeding a little bit. This is a sensor they think it may be. Hope they're right. Because if it's so, it won't be too hard. It just goes right here in this uh, valve body if I understand them right. Take off the old one, put on the new one. Shouldn't be much changing it, but. Plug the wire. Screw out, screw in, I think. All right, well that's that. Hopefully that fixes it. old one tell you what 
not. David drives the Chevy. It's got this nice flatbed. You talk about a guy with a nice toolbox. I like that. We're gonna hop in here. I'm gonna put it down. This field's been gassed, not worked or nothing. Just gonna see how my uh, down pressure looks. I'm planting not too far down that way, but I don't want to run down there just to turn around and come back. So we'll see if this works or not. Wait for all my screens to boot up here. getting higher. Come on, keep going up. Keep going up. Mm, I don't know if it's going to do it. Still not getting enough pressure. Yep, crap. I don't think that's it. More to come later. Not really planning. Just trying to see if this is doing gonna fix it or not. My downforce on now. Had that off for oh trying to figure stuff out here. Getting closer to what I want. Might still don't know. Maybe. It's a solid maybe on the fix right now. Still sitting here. Messed with this last night. I got over here, I don't know, 6.30? It's half hour drive over here. Probably been six. I don't even know. But anyways. Now I'm trying an accumulator test. So far they're all good. Waiting on a John Deere mechanic, somebody who might know what they're doing a little bit better than me. Well, they'll definitely know what they're doing better than me, but uh, yeah, we're still trying to figure her out. One of these days I'll plan again, I can't wait. I got all this big open spaces that I'd like to be planting. Got a lot of ground down this way. A lot of big fields. 160 acre field just average. It's a small field down here. We got a 600 acre field down here. And I got a 400 acre stretch right through here. I'm wanting to plant some white corn on today before it rains, but I'm starting to think that's not going to happen. So that's the way it goes. Uh, and that's how it keeps going. I start doing my test and then I lose pressure. Can't keep enough pressure even to do the test. Yeah, I'm about to give up on that. Maybe I'll get a mechanic one of these days, but uh, I just changed all my brushes. I was gonna do that tomorrow after it rains, but I guess I'll do it now. There's a case planter way down there. He just keeps running back and forth, rubbing it in. Yeah, keep on running, Newtons, keep on running. At least somebody can. The Calvary has arrived. Is it gonna fix it, Jeremy? Is it gonna fix it? I hope so. <laughs> hey, God, I love that confidence. What'd you change? What's that thing called? Priority valve. Priority valve. Goes from the tractor to here, then disperses out to the generator or the downforce. So, Jeremy says it's gonna maybe work. I believe him. She's on. We're back to purging air out of the hydraulic system. Again. Hey Wyatt, you gonna go spray with this thing? You gonna go spray? What's up, what's up, yeah? Maybe? You just show him how to run that, all right? 
Back up and going. That fixed it. Jeremy saved the day. Guy waiting on me over there. I only got 45 acres in the last day and a half. I've done 30 in the last not very long, so they caught up to me. I know you northern guys do this all the time, but this is a first for me. Doing a little test with some strip tilling. get out and explain it for those of you who don't know what that is but sharing guidance lines with a guy with 40 foot and I got a 60 foot planter it's going good and rows were a little confusing but the back and forth no problem It doesn't work the ground. It only works the ground right where we plant. I'm planting right in where he plants. If you can see here, all of our fertilize is right here. So it's kind of like planting our seed in pot and soil. The roots don't go, go search for it. It's right where that seed is. So they say it should uh, yield more. And it definitely does disturbs the ground less. So uh, we're going to see if we like it or not. tractor three tractor four tractor plus me makes five everybody's trying to beat the rain that's coming in just about here that blue dots us of course and a lot of rain irrigation stops in case you're wondering it's like a pipe on the irrigation hits that and you got to either at auto stop or auto reverse and it'll either send it the other direction or stop when it hits them just starting to get a few drops on the windshield I'm not real sure how it's not raining yet. Hope it don't. I made it. GoPro died on me. I thought the charging cord was in my truck, but it was actually in the tractor. I think plant 10 days in a row. Or no, plant 10 days out of 12. And getting up at 4.30 and now it's a little after 1. Probably ain't thinking real clear, but... Just barely beat the rain. I was really wanting to get the old uh, Indiana farm. The old Indiana farm, we call it. What Dad and George originally uh, bought back in 1996. At least there's 1,000 acres. Um, 400 of it goes to white corn. That's what I was wanting to 
get planted the night before it rained and we made it. So I stopped back at the farm and just gonna drop this off so it don't sit out in the rain all night because surely it'll rain some. See that dad did the same with his. So uh, let's park them together. I'm gonna unhook this and get a shower and go to bed. Check you later, YouTubers. Everybody beat me here this morning. I'm okay with that. Looks like we got about a half inch in the gauge. That's perfect. Oh, I bet they're all in there happy and feeling satisfied. Oh, there's, oh, nice. Morning, what a wonderful rain. Genius. Yep, everybody's happy, perfect rain. Now, if it rains too much, unhappiness and regret will set in. <laughs> oh, genius. Oh, we got a tenth to go. Thank yeah, you. we got four tenths. Uh, Do you figure somebody be around the table today? Yeah, I kind of thought so. Yeah. <laughs> kind of thought I might be the last one, too. We're all in a big <laughs> Round table discussions. Meeting of the mind. Discussing Ever since King Arthur, however, how many years ago that's been? <laughs> hey, I got some shears.